Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the OneDrive for Business application, more specifically the Groove.exe application. We are going to go through the basic functioning, the, some of the most common issues and some of some troubleshooting steps that we can do. So let's start. Currently uh, there are two versions of the OneDrive for Business application. We have the 2016 version, which only comes as part of Office 2016, and we have the 2013 version, which uh, we can install uh, the standalone version or the or as part of Office 2013. This for the uh, for the click to run install types. Uh, to to get the standalone application, uh, we can go to this. KB article, which uh, show us uh, in which we have the several versions, uh, several languages of the application, and we can install this for the standalone application. But here on this VM, currently we have installed Microsoft Office Pro Plus. Um, Currently, we have the 2013 uh, Microsoft Office. So the version is 15.0.4797.1003. This was installed for the Ultra from the O365 portal. OK, so let's begin. Uh, the OneDrive for Business application uh, allow us to sync any SharePoint library. Uh, can be the doc the default documents library from our personal site, can be uh, any other documents library that we have on our personal site that isn't the default one, or we can synchronize any libraries uh, that um, that are from team sites, from other site collections. So let's log in into our O365 portal. Okay, so here it is. So currently on this machine, we are not synchronizing any library. If we click, uh, uh, if we go to the history icons and we click on the blue clouds from our OneDrive for Business application, so let's right click it, we'll get this small prompt. Uh, most of, uh, when we have all these options grayed out, it means that we are currently not synchronizing any library. The application is running, but we are not synchronizing any library. So let's start by synchronizing our personal site. So let's navigate to our personal site, to our default documents library, and here it is. This is this is our default documents library, the the one that uh, we can have several different libraries under our personal site, uh, but uh, when uh, when we uh, on our account on each personal site we have a default documents library, uh, which is the one that we are going to synchronize. Just to to see, let's go to signed contents. So this is our default documents library, the library where we were. It only has one item, which was the that um, uh, Word document that it was there. And as you can see on my personal site, this is uh, site contents from my pers uh, from my personal site for this user's personal site. And we have uh, other libraries, particularly this other library that I created pre uh, previously, which is also another documents library. It has two items, but it's not the default one. Let's click on it just to look into it. But it's another documents library, normal one, uh, with two items. But let's go back to our default documents library. Uh, to do that, we simply need to click on the uh, OneDrive, OneDrive tile on our app launcher. And we go back to our default documents library. To synchronize the, the libraries, we can either click on sync through the site or we can uh, right click the application and click sync new library. Let's start by synchronizing through the site. So we click sync, sync now, yes, and we get the prompt. So 
Here it is, the URL of the library that uh, we are going to synchronize. As you can see, it's our documents library under our personal site. And uh, since we are currently not synchronizing any libraries, so uh, if we go here and then right click the application, we are not synchronizing any libraries. Uh, this uh, this prompt allows us to change the default location where uh, to where we wish to synchronize the library. Currently, right now, uh, it's uh, we are uh, the default location is on C uh, users and then my uh, my use uh, the folder for my user. But uh, since we are not synchronizing any other libraries, we could change this default location. But let's leave it like this. Okay, so it's synchronized and uh, here it is. This folder, OneDrive for Business, was created under this path. It's going to be on this folder uh, in which we are going to have our files. So let's click Show Files. And here they are. Let me change the view because on the screen that I'm presenting in, uh, it has a different resolution and we cannot see the, the synchronization icons. But let's go just to check. The folder was created under the, the admin. So let's go here, users to the path, and then OneDrive for Business. Is it here? It is. Let's open it, and here is our document. And if we go here now, we have all the other options. And if we at a given time, if we want to see the um, the list of libraries that we are currently synchronizing we just need to click stop syncing folder we won't stop it so it's just to see the list and in here it will appear the list of libraries that we are synchronizing currently since we are only synchronizing our default documents library from our personal site um we will see the 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 OneDrive for business name uh, which is the same name as the folder that was created so let's click cancel and here it is. Currently, this is being synchronized. Now, let's. Uh, this is this was for the default documents library on our personal site. Let's synchronize now a team site. So let's go here and let's go to our sites. And then our team site. And here it is. Let's go to the documents library on our team site. And let me go back. And as you can see, our team site, it's called OneDrive for Business Demo Team Site. And let's go here to our team site. And now, Let's click to synchronize the, um, the this documents library. Just as on the personal site, we could do that, this either by clicking sync a new library or uh, either by clicking sync. I'm going to click sync. Um, uh, later on, I'm going to show you the process to, to synchronize a library directly through the application. So let's click sync. Okay, we have the prompt. So uh, here it is the URL of the library that we are synchronizing. Uh, on on team sites, uh, the documents library, the default one, um, the, the, the name it's shared documents. So uh, yet again, the default location is going to be C users admin. And notice now we don't have the change button to change the default location. This is because we are already synchronizing one library. So it does not allow us to change uh, the default location. 
Let's click sync now. And here it is. It's on this default location again, but notice that now a, a new folder, a SharePoint folder was created and inside the SharePoint folder is the location of our uh, of the folder for this library. And notice the, the name of the, the folder. It's OneDrive for Business Demo Team, which is the name of the site, dash doc. So the name for the, the folders of uh, team sites or um, the name for the folders from all the other libraries that are that we synchronize that are not uh, our default documents library it's always the name of the site dash name of the documents library so uh, in here uh, we are currently synchronizing the documents library so documents got uh, shortened to doc and then uh, the name of the site is when draft for business demo team let's click show my files and here they are so let's navigate through C, then users, which was the default location, then my user. And in here we see we have our previous uh, folder, which is the personal site. And we have our SharePoint folder, which now inside it has our OneDrive for Business uh, demo team doc and inside we have the documents so here it is so this is this was the basic synchronization of our default documents library from our personal site and a documents library from a team site but what other libraries can we synchronize as we saw earlier, uh, on my personal site, I had another library. It was not the default one, uh, the, do the default documents library, but it was another documents library. So if I go back to my personal site and click site contents, I can see here the other uh, documents library that I had created previously. To create a documents library, we just need to click add an app and then select documents library. But let's go back. So let's synchronize this default, uh, this uh, other documents library under our personal sites. So currently the name of our library is personal library 01, as we can see here on the URL as well. Uh, it's under our personal site. And Let's see uh, what happens when you synchronize. As I said before, uh, uh, any other libraries that are not our default documents library from our personal site should be synchronized into the SharePoint folder that was created. So if we go, if we navigate to that location, we see here, this is our library from our personal site. And we have over here our SharePoint folder. If we double click it, we see here the, um, the folder for the, the synchronization of the documents library from our team site. And uh, we can see here the, we have the green checks that the documents are synchronized. OK, so by this, that, uh, since that other library under our personal site is not our default documents library, the library should be synchronized uh, into this folder. Let's see. Currently, we are only synchronizing these two libraries. So let's click to synchronize this one. So OK. So here it is, the URL. It's our personal library 01 from our personal site. And once again, we don't have the option to change the location since we are already synchronizing two, two libraries. Let's click sync now. OK, so once again, it's inside the SharePoint folder. And notice now the name that it takes. So before I uh, 
as I said, um, all the other libraries that are not our default documents library from our personal site, um, the name of the folder that is created for those other libraries, it's always the name of the site dash name of the library. In this case, since we are on our personal site, the name of the site would be the display name of the user. And then we have the name of the library. Let's click show my files. So here we are. Let's change the view to see the icon. So we are synchronizing. If we go to SharePoint and here we see uh, this was our team site and this is the new library that we synchronized. Once again, it's under the SharePoint folder. Okay, so this is uh, another library from our own personal site. But what happens when we want to synchronize other libraries uh, uh, that are from other users' personal sites? Okay, so let's try that right now. So let's go back to our personal site, to our default documents library on our personal site. And now um, I have here on the section shared with me a folder that the user, the admin user shared with me. Let's click inside that folder. Okay, we are inside the folder and notice now I am with the user 05 on the personal site of the admin user, which is the user that shared this folder with me. If I click to see files, this will show me the list of all the files that I am allowed to see from this user's personal site. Since this user only shared with me this folder, I can only see this folder. I cannot see any other files that the user have over here or nor any other folders since he did not share with me. But I can see the folder that he indeed shared with me, which is folder 01. Now, there is one particular detail that we need to consider here. That is, if we want to synchronize a folder that is on another user's personal site, that folder needs to be on the root uh, documents library, on the root, um, on the root folder. We could not have, if the user had only shared, for instance, let's create here another folder. And we, let's call it subfolder02. If the user, instead of, uh, of sharing, sharing with us uh, this folder, which is directly under the files, if he only had shared this subfolder, we could not synchronize that subfolder because uh, once we clicked, uh, if we open the, the folder and uh, let's introduce here a new document. Okay, so if the user only had shared with us the subfolder 02, when we clicked sync, uh, the folders will be created, but since then, uh, since uh, we didn't have permission under this folder, the application would throw out uh, synchronization errors. I'm going to show you the, uh, that scenario later uh, later on, but just want to keep in uh, just want for you to keep in mind that if we want to ch to synchronize folders from another user that to another user shared with us, those folders need to be uh, uh, the the shared folders uh, need to be under the files from that uh, other user's personal site uh, documents library. So let's click to synchronize this shared folder, the folder 01 that this user shared with us. As we did on the other libraries before, we just simply need to click sync, sync now. And once we do that, it won't just synchronize this folder 01. If we had other folders that he shared with us under these files, it will, would synchronize all those other folders as well. So when we are clicking sync, we are clicking to sync the library and we are synchronizing everything that we have um, the right to, that we have access to. So here it is. We are currently synchronizing the documents library from that this other user's personal site. So notice now that it's not our user, it's the other user. And since this is not our 
default documents library. As the rule says, it should be synchronized to our SharePoint folder. Even though it's a personal library, a default documents library from, another, uh, from a personal site, since it's not our own, it's from another user's, it will go to the SharePoint folder. Once again, we cannot change the location and let's click sync now. Okay, so as we can see here, uh, the folder got synchronized to the SharePoint but notice now one particular uh, thing. In here, we see admin user, which is the name of the, the user uh, that, uh, that, uh, that we are synchronizing right now, the default documents library from this user's personal site. And notice it's the default documents library. It's not any other library under this user personal site, it's a default one. So. Since we are synchronizing the default documents library from this user's personal site, um, notice now what will happen with the display name of the folder that was created. In here, it appears as admin user, but let's click show my files. If we go back to the SharePoint, notice now that the folder that was created has the name uh, as the display name OneDrive for Business 1. Now, why this is uh, why does this happen this only happens uh, with the 2013 application if we click uh, let's go inside the folder once again if we click over here on the path we can see that indeed it's the folder for the admin user was uh, which is the it's the default documents library from the admin user personal site but as a display name what is shown with the 2013 application is OneDrive for Business. And why is the one at the end? Because if we go here to the list of libraries, we were already synchronizing our own default documents library from our personal site. So when the, the display name uh, for this folder is, is created, uh, since we cannot have the same uh, name for two different folders that are being synchronized, uh, the application will add a one at the end. But as you can see, uh, the only way for us to see uh, to which user does this folder belong to, we need to click on the path to see. Now, this only occurs with the 2013 application. With the 2016 application, the name that would, uh, that would show over here would be the name of the user dash documents, which is the regular name uh, expression for the SharePoint folders. But for the 2013 application, if we attempt to synchronize the default documents library from another user's personal site, we will see that uh, this is the name that is created. Now, uh, as I told you, we can only synchronize folders that are on our root library. If we attempt to synchronize folders that are not on our root library uh, from, a, from another user's personal site, we will get synchronization errors. Let's look into it. So let's go back to our personal site, to our own personal site. Here we are. So currently we are synchronizing our own default documents library from our personal site. We are synchronizing the default documents library from the admin user personal site. We are synchronizing the documents library from the team site and we are synchronizing another library from our own personal site. Okay. So let's synchronize now a folder that a user shared with us but that that folder is not on the on the root folder of the documents library from that user personal site. So let's see. So I have over here. I just shared uh, with another user, shared with uh, my user zero zero five another folder. Let's go to the section shared with me, and this one was the the previous folder that we synchronized with the, that the admin user shared with us. But now we have over here a subfolder 02, which was shared with us by user 010. So user 010 only shared with us the subfolder 02. Let's click on it. 
So once again, once we click on the folder, it will redirect us to that user 010 personal site and notice the path of the folder that was shared with us. The path of the folder that was shared with us, subfolder 02, which is this one, is under a folder and this folder is the one that is on the root library. So as before, if uh, we go to files from this user, since we don't have any permissions inside directly inside this root library, we won't see anything. But if we go back again, so let's go to our personal site again to navigate to the subfolder that was shared with us, subfolder. And then if we click here, uh, it will tell us again that I don't have permissions to that folder 01. I only have permissions to the folder, to the subfolder 02 that this user shared with us. So this is one of the most common, um, common errors that we have, which is if we attempt to synchronize a subfolder, and by that I mean uh, a folder that uh, uh, was shared, uh, a folder that is not on the root library, uh, on the root folder of the library from another user's personal site, we'll get that synchronization errors. And not just uh, um, folders on another user's personal site. If we don't have permissions on the library and we attempt to synchronize subfolders that we have permissions to, we will always get synchronization errors. So let's test this right now. So for, for us to synchronize the subfolder, we need to, to click on it, to open it on the, on the other user's library. So right now we are on the user 010 library and we are inside the subfolder 02. And remember, when we click sync, we are not synchronizing just the subfolder. We will attempt to synchronize everything that we have rights to on this user's personal site. And the only thing that we have right to on this user's personal site is this subfolder. So when we click sync, sync now, let's see. Uh, yet again, we are synchronizing documents library. So it's the entire library. And of course, it will only synchronize down the, um, the folders or the items that we have access to. So it's a documents library from this user's personal site. Let's click sync now. And right now we only have permissions to that subfolder, nothing else. So once again, a folder user 010 is created in the SharePoint. Remember, since this is the 2013 application, we won't see user 010 uh, last as a display name of on the folder. We will see OneDrive for Business in this case, it will have a number two at the end because we already had a number one. So we'll have OneDrive for Business 2. And if we click on the path, we'll be able to see that it is indeed user 010. But as a display name, we will see OneDrive for Business 2. And uh, right now, we are synchronizing everything that we have rights from this uh, document library. And since we only have um, and remember, you, you only have permissions to see the subfolder 02. Let's click show my files. So immediately, let's go first look into the name. But as I said, the display name is OneDrive for Business 2 because we all already had OneDrive for Business. Then we have, uh, which was our default documents library uh, from our personal site. Then we have OneDrive for Business 1, which wa was the, docu the default documents library from the admin user's personal site. When we synchronized the folder 01, we synchronized everything that we had right from that personal site. And here it is, the second folder from this user's personal site that we, sy that we synchronized. But notice now the red cross over here. The, 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 which indicates that is not synchronized. So why is this happening? Again, it's inside, it's on top of folder 01. And this is the only folder that we had rights to. So why this, does this happen? When we first click sync, the application will receive uh, from the side the structure of the folders to build that this folder structure so if you go inside to build this folder structure on our local machine. But then when the application tries 
to tries to to see what changes occurred and uh, if there is anything that needs to synchronize the application would need to go back again through the folders to see what changes occurred and since the application doesn't have permissions to the root documents library neither uh, more specifically, it doesn't have permissions to the top level folder in which our subfolder is. Immediately, it gets here and it doesn't, it isn't able to synchronize anymore. So that's why we immediately get these synchronization errors. We cannot synchronize subfolders. We can only synchronize folders that we have that have been shared with us and are on the root of the documents library. It cannot be subfolders and we are able to see this once we get these errors. If we go here to the application, immediately we get a yellow triangle. Uh, this uh, is the, um, the icon for that indicates that we have sync problems. If you right click it, we will see this other option, which is view sync problems. And if you click it, it immediately says uh, folder 01, which is on the path of uh, SharePoint user 010. So Notice that is not the, the folder 01 that we previously synchronized from the other documents library. It's on the user 010 documents library. It says you might not have permission to upload folders or you don't have enough storage space. But basically this error is because of the permissions. And of course, we will have errors on the subfolder as well because it doesn't. it's the entire library that gets compromised. So let's close. And since we don't have permissions, Let's stop the synchronization of this documents library. And oh, let me show you just once again for us to be able to see which folder it is which. So this one is from user 010. If we go back to SharePoint, this one was the correct one, which had admin user. So this is for the 2013 application. It's the only way for us to be able to see which uh, default documents library from other users person site. It's the only way to see for us which user it is. And let's stop the synchronization of OneDrive for Business 2. Okay, so right now there are no longer uh, sync problems. And the folder is no longer being synchronized. We don't have uh, any synchronization icon on top of it. So we can delete the folder. OK, so we saw synchronization of libraries from our own personal site. We saw the synchronization of libraries from a team site. We saw the synchronization of the default documents library from another user personal site. And let's see now the synchronization of another library but that is inside other users' personal site. So let's go back. Let me share uh, with uh, my user 05. So let's go back to our documents library. And now uh, I'm going to share with my user 05 a documents library that is from user 010 personal site. It's not the default one, the one that we got the errors before. But I will share another library from user 010 personal site. So I just shared with user 010, I shared another library that is on user 010 personal site. It's not the default documents library. It's another library that I created. And I shared that library with user 005. Now, since that library, uh, that I, uh, since I shared the entire library, I did not just share it one folder or two folders. I shared the entire library. We won't be able to see it on the shared with me section because here we only are able to see the items and items are folders or documents. So since I shared the entire library that is on the other user's personal site, it's not the default documents library. It's another user from another library from user 010 uh, personal site. I will need to go to my email. And uh, I will click on the link that I have here. So user 010 um, has shared library 01 with uh, user 05. Let's click on it. Okay, so right now we are on library 01 
that is on user 010 person site and remember we are always with user 005 so this user user 010 shared this library which is on his personal site with user 005 so let's click sync this library so this is not the default documents library from the user's personal site from the user 010 person site since it's not the default documents library its name should be uh, according to the rules, name of the, the site dash name of the library. Uh, since the site is the person site, we should have the user display name should be user 010 last, which is the display name that I gave him dash library 01. That should be the name of the folder that is created. And since it's not our own default documents library from our person site, uh, uh, and that I mean it's not the default documents library from e user 005 personal site it should be on the SharePoint folder. So let's click yes. Okay. So right now we are synchronizing library uh, 01 that is under the personal site of user 010. And let's click sync now. And here it is. So once again, since it's not our own default documents library from our own personal sites, it should be under the SharePoint folder. And since it's not um, uh, in here, it wouldn't sh show us the display name. It shows the, the name of, of the, that is uh, on the path of the folder. But uh, since it's, um, it's not the default documents library from the other, this other user, user 010 personal site, we should have the username dash uh, library name on the folder that uh, that appears. So let's go click show my files. And if we go back to SharePoint, here it is, the new library. It's user 010 last and then name of the library. So let's go through all the folders that we are currently synchronizing. We are synchronizing our own default documents library from our own personal site. We are synchronizing the default documents library from another user's personal site. In this case was the user admin that we were synchronizing. If we click here to see the path of the folder, it's the admin user. And we are synchronizing the documents library that is on our team site. So the name is name of the site dash documents. It got shortened to doc. Then we are synchronizing um, uh, another library from our own personal site. It's not the default documents library, so it isn't OneDrive for business. So the name that the library gets is the name of the site, which since it is a personal site, it will be the user display name dash and then name of the library. And lastly, we are synchronizing a library from another user's personal site, but it isn't his default documents library. So it's the, the name of the library is library01, and it's under the user010 personal site. So this is basically, I think we went through all the, uh, the options that uh, we could have to uh, regarding which type of libraries we could synchronize. Now let's go look into our default documents library from our own personal site. So currently we are already synchronizing our own default documents library from our own personal site. But notice now, uh, and remember we are with the, to, just to go back here to the SharePoint folder, in here, even though this is the documents library from another user's personal site, uh, from the admin user, it gets the name OneDrive for Business instead of username because we are with the 2013 application. Later on, I'm going to show you with the 2016 application, if we synchronize the default documents library from other users' personal sites, we will, uh, the display name of the folder that is created and the SharePoint will be the name of the user that uh, we are synchronizing, uh, the name of the user that is uh, the, the owner of the library that we are synchronizing. But let's go now to our own personal library. So right now, uh, this library got the name OneDrive for Business. And when we synchronize this library, we went directly. So let me close all of these. Let's go back to our default documents library. 
And uh, when, we when we first synchronized this library, we went on the site and we clicked sync. But remember that uh, I told you that we can synchronize a new library by clicking sync a new library. Uh, and by that, I mean we can synchronize a library directly from the application. So let's do just that. First, let's stop the synchronization of our own default documents library. So remember, it's this one. Let's stop the synchronization. OK, so the synchronization is stopped. So if we uh, let's close all the windows too. And if we go to our uh, to the path where we were synchronizing, we can see that the SharePoint folders are still with a green check that are synchronized, but our OneDrive for Business folder is no longer synchronizing. If we click here and let's check the state of the document, there is no green, green mark of synchronization. So right now it's just a folder, a local folder on our, on our drive. So let's delete it. Okay. And now let's synchronize our default documents library, but through the application. So let's right click the application, sync a new library. And we get the prompt. <clears throat> when we do this process of right clicking sync a new library on the application, if we are not synchronizing our default documents library, the default URL that uh, the application will ask us to, to synchronize will be our default documents library from our own personal site. If we are not synchronizing this library, this is the default one that the application will ask us to synchronize. But uh, we can simply click sync a different library. Uh, if we don't want to synchronize this one and uh, want to synchronize a different one, we can simply click uh, sync a uh, different library. But let's, uh, let's synchronize right now the, um, the default documents library from our own personal site through the application. Let's click sync now. Okay, and notice now, uh, again, since it's our own default documents library, it, uh, it's not under the SharePoint folder, it's the, on the default location. But notice now the name that uh, the folder got. It's OneDrive dash OneDrive for Business Demo. So it's OneDrive dash company name or tenant name. Let's click Show My Files. And let's go change the view since this resolution on this screen. So it, here it is, the green check. And if we go back one folder, notice that now the name of the folder that we are uh, the, for, for our own personal library, it's OneDrive dash company name. And this is reflected as well on the list of libraries that we are currently synchronized. So we have all these libraries that we were synchronized before. This one was from it's, uh, the documents library, the default documents library from another user's personal site. Remember, this, wa this was the one that we were synchronizing before from the admin user personal site. And now notice that our own default documents library uh, from our own personal site, it's uh, OneDrive dash tenant name. Now, the only way to get this name is if we synchronize through the, the application. If we go to the site and click sync, we will still get OneDrive for Business uh, on the name of the folder. So this is a, a way for us to, to get this name. And how is this name um, controlled? So this name is controlled by a registry key, which is, let me show you. OK, let's open the registry. And here it is. So this name is controlled by the identities under the H key current user, software, Microsoft, Office, 15 in this case because we are with the 2013 application, not with the 16 application. So in this case is 15. Then common service manager cache identities. And inside identities, we have the org ID. And then we have several keys. And the one uh, that is referent uh, to our own personal site is this one. We can see, let me expand. OK, so as you can see here, uh, it's the, the person. Let me let's see. 
there it is host URL so it's the my SharePoint uh, so it's the personal site of our tenant and we are with user 005 so the this the connection display name is the value that controls the name of the folder that is created we can uh, let's let's modify this name uh, we do, of course this is just for testing purposes to see that to show you that this is indeed the value that controls that display name of the folder so this is simply for testing purposes let's modify it we shouldn't modify this but this is simply for testing purposes so let's click uh, let's change to manually altered click OK so there it is let's minimize this and now uh, we need to stop the synchronization in order to get the new name and remember this new name will only happen if we synchronize through the application not through the site through the site we will always get one drive for business okay we are no longer synchronizing let's delete the folder and let's now click again sync a new library um, by default if we are not synchronizing the default documents library of our own personal site the application will ask us to synchronize let's click sync now and notice notice the name that got created is OneDrive dash manually altered so this was the name that uh, we changed on the registry if you click show my files uh, let's change the view okay and here it is manually altered so the OneDrive for Business application more specifically the Groove.exe application uh, gets this folder name if we synchronize through the application it will get the folder name from this connection display value uh, that is on the um, on this registry key of course if uh, this is uh, in case this key has already been created and this key is created uh, whenever we launch an office application in which we are signing so uh, let's imagine and again this is simply for testing purposes we should not uh, interfere with the registry since it is extremely sensitive this is just for testing purposes so let's stop the synchronization so uh, you can see here that the name is um, is reflected here as well so let's stop the synchronization of our own personal site again okay and uh, let me delete the folder so again it's now it's just a folder and what I'm going to do now again this is simply for testing purposes please don't do this this is, uh, registry is extremely sensitive so we should not interfere with it let's delete the identities registry key so if we delete the identity registry key until we have launched again or have connected again uh, any office application with our account the identity sh uh, sh uh, shouldn't be created so if we delete this registry key okay it's deleted if we go now to try to synchronize a new library let's click sync a new library you see we get prompted to uh, introduce a URL for the library and why does this happen it happens because there uh, the, the application doesn't have any reference on the identities as which connected services are uh, uh, do we have so what we need to do here is simply let's copy the URL of our documents library so we only need this one and uh, then we need to add at the end documents because it's the URL of a documents library documents okay and let's click sync now and with this um, the registries uh, the registry key should automatically be created but uh, since that identities registry was not there the application even though we synchronize through the application we synchronize our personal site through the application since the identities key was not created yet uh, the the name that we will get is OneDrive for business the name uh, the name of the folder that we get is OneDrive for business if you click show my files as you can see 
it's OneDrive for Business instead of OneDrive dash company name as we got before when we synchronized through the application. But now if we go to the registry and refresh, since we, uh, we launched the, the application, the connected services, we see that it gets automatically created again. So since the identity key is already created again, we can easily go here, click stop syncing a folder. Let's stop syncing OneDrive for Business, which is our default documents library from our own personal site. Let's click stop syncing. Yes. And let's delete this folder. And if we go back here again, since we already have that new registry key, uh, again, if we are not synchronizing the default documents library from our own personal site, it will ask us to synchronize that one. But if we don't want, we just click sync in different library, but we want that and let's click sync now. And as we can see, it's already appearing here. The name of the folder is again OneDrive dash company name. So there it is. Now, um, let's do one final test, which is synchronize um, a new uh, a documents library that isn't our own uh, default documents library, but through sync a new library. So let's first stop synchronizing our the other uh, documents library that we have on our own personal site. Let's stop synchronizing this one and let's sync this one, but through the application. Okay, let's go to the SharePoint folder and let's delete the previous folder since we are no longer synchronizing. And let's get the URL. So right now we are on our own personal site. To go to the other library, we click Site Contents. And here it is, the other library. Let's click on it. And let's copy the URL of this library. So uh, the URL that we should introduce on the application, it's always uh, the up to the library name, including the library name. So let's copy all of this. Copy. Okay. And let's click over here, sync a new library. Let's paste here the library URL, sync now. And notice that we didn't get the prompt to synchronize our, our default documents library because we were already synchronizing it. And uh, here it is, it's the same. So show my, let's click show my files. So the name of these libraries over here, the ones that get under the SharePoint library do not change uh, if we synchronize them through the application or through the, the site. The only library that the name is influenced by the place uh, from which we synchronize with uh, is uh, the default documents library from our own personal site. Okay, so this was a review of the synchronization process of uh, different types of libraries.